hood news, an accurate report. Here's a, a true story from the streets, the streets of VA, of all places. Early 90s, me and my man, Big Gus, me and Big Gus rolling down the highway. We on our way to cop. We doing big things at the time, really, really big things, but not just us. Can't take the credit. It was our connect, the Jamaican. We had a network set up, and we was we doing big, really big things. We everything that went down from bales of weed to maybe maybe twenty keys, twenty keys a month, all funneled down from us, and got bigger and bigger and bigger as it funneled out. Got bigger and bigger and bigger. So we running shit. We making mad money. A whole lot of money. Not now. Back then. And while we going to cop these big pounds. This new rapper comes on the radio. And this rapper is making claims about having half of Virginia locked down. And copping pounds in Georgetown. And who is this dude? This dude. And it's Biggie Smalls. About the pounds it got down in Georgetown And they heard you got half of Virginia locked down A couple of Biggie songs He makes these types of mentions About Copping in Virginia Or half of Virginia He had on lockdown He make these claims in some of his other little uh, Videos on the streets and stuff And I love Biggie but I'm sorry bro You never had nothing in Virginia On lockdown ever Never ever ever this is a true story, all right? Biggie never had nothing going on in Virginia because he would have had to have dealt with one of our people or us at that time during the 90s. And, of course, if a rapper made it big and he's in the circle doing business with us, we would know about it. So, yeah, Biggie, I love you, bro. I love you to death. We was born in the same month, just a few days apart, around about the same year. But you lied on that one. You you faked it on that one. You need to take that back if you was here. I love you to death, Biggie. Rest in peace, Big Gus Spicer, man. We made so much money. We ran these streets. And ain't no faking, ain't no fuck. Ask about me. 